The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations shall be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. And then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me, ill and you cared for me, in prison and you visited me. And then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine you did for me. And then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. And then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least brothers of mine, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. By the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. The tribes of Israel all came to King David and said, you must be our king. You will give unity to our people. You will give us a focus. You will bring us together in our common identity. And he was anointed king to reign over the tribes of Israel. The Lord Jesus Christ reigns as king of all creation. Through his life, his ministry, his suffering, his dying, and his resurrection, he reigns supreme over all of reality. And we are here because we are members of his kingdom, citizens of his kingdom, always citizens of the kingdom of God before citizenship in any country, any nation, any government on earth. The call to discipleship unites people of every race and language and tongue and every identity, every nationality into the one body of Christ. And in our reading today from the Gospel according to Matthew, we have from Jesus what he expects of us as good citizens of the kingdom of God. And that's being aware of the needs of the very, very, very least. And today we remember in a special way the needs for protection for unborn children, the most vulnerable of life in all its forms, but still a unique expression of God's creative love, still from the first moment of conception, and a person with an eternal destiny. But Jesus reminds us that life, once it is given, it is given for forever, and that we, as disciples of Jesus, have a responsibility to tend to that life at every single stage of its development, in every single person who comes our way. We must indeed judge all of our actions by the words of Jesus. 
and they're very, very simple. I was hungry, and you fed me. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was ill and in prison, and you comforted me. We might perhaps in our own way add to the ideas that Jesus gives us in the gospel today. You know, I, I was an elderly person. I was alone. I was weak. I was vulnerable at this end of life also. And you protected me. You made sure I was safe. So on this day that we pray for legal protection for the rights of unborn children, Let us pray that we, as citizens of God's kingdom, as people who reign under the authority of Jesus Christ, the King of all creation, may live our lives in such a way that we, at the end of our journey, will hear from the King, you have been a faithful servant. Come now, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world for what you did for the very least, for the most vulnerable you did for me.